This video shows two of the feeders I've shot this week. Warning, this is a pest control video. If you're not comfortable watching this content, please switch off now. You have been warned. These first four clips were taken on a private garden permission not far from where I live. In this feeder, I tried a big sack of parrot food where I got given, but it didn't work out very well because I was kicking loads of stuff out onto the ground. So with that in mind, I just went back to whole maize and sunflower seeds. Now, with the foliage in full bloom on the trees, it's really difficult to see greers coming down. But luckily enough, we've got vines running down either side of this feeder. So when they start to shake, I know somebody's on the way. As you can see, this one ducks just as I pull the trigger, but luckily enough, it didn't move too far. Just in case anybody's wondering, this is where I buy all my seed for my feeders. So if you're in the County Durham area, please pop over and have a look. This next bunch of clips was taken on one of my farm permissions earlier this morning. And this one turned out to be a nice little double, followed by another one later on in the video. cut quite a bit of footage out of these clips due to the fact at least half of the greers on here aren't actually coming down the tree but they're just following the ditch along and feeding underneath the feeder where I can't actually see them and then we're moving up and down the tree before actually setting on the feeder. The 
best way to help support the channel is by pressing the like button when you're watching the videos and put a comment in the comment box and if you enjoy watching the videos please subscribe This is double number two and I've cut about six minutes out of this clip just because this grey was going all over and then when it went up the top sat for a good few minutes. I could have actually taken a shot but there wasn't a safe backstop so I just let it come down of its own accord. Just see him now looking at his mate underneath in the ditch, fading away. But luckily enough, I managed to get him as well. This clip's the last one of the day, and the grey underneath just kept popping his head up and down, but it took a while, and eventually he gave us enough sight to take a shot. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. Here's a couple of suggestions for other videos for you to watch on the channel.